Hello, everyone. Today, Jason is here. Uh, Jason, please tell us your position about company overview and uh, position name. Okay. Thank you so much, Camille san. Today, I'd like to talk to you about an ed tech startup that's doing some really exciting things,、um, helping people with their language learning.、Um, in this case, in particular, helping Japanese people learn English. And trying to improve their test scores, like the TOEIC test or the TOEFL test. And they are looking for a back end engineer to help with their company. Okay, okay. What is main job responsibility and、uh, requirement to apply for the position? Basically, they're looking for a more senior back end engineer. I'm、um, working at five years experience. You know, maybe a little flexible, maybe four years, if anything. But most important of all,、um, people that are highly skilled with Python and actually and Django. That's yeah, what they're really looking for. People experienced with Python and Django. And salary range six to nine million Japanese yen on an average. All right. Is there any information? Yeah.、Um, basically, well, backend engineers they're just going to be building and maintaining scalable applications. That's very important. It's a startup now, but it's growing really quickly. And you know, many people they may think, "Oh, this is just some language learning app." But really, the thing special about this company is their use of AI and machine learning. So, as the more you use this app, the better it caters the courses to your needs. So it's just not one set course; it changes and changes every day. The more you use it. And really helps you with your strengths, helps you with your weaknesses, and of course your strengths. This is EdTech startup. So, is this Japanese or multinational company?、Hmm. It is a foreign company, and Japanese is preferred, but not required at all. So,、oh. most of the engineers there are from other countries, and English is the official language of the company. All right. Thank you, Jason. Okay. Thanks, Mio-san.